Macedonia in English. Just about everything you want to know. Shots will be fired, so the summer vice president Zaev says. The website Net Press published a phone conversation with Sadasama Vice President and Strumica Mayor Zaev, in which he said, shots will be fired. Zaev also said in the conversation that his party will likely boycott the local elections and that no polls will be held. The Net Press journalist introduced himself to Zaev as head of Sadasama Krivapalanka municipal organization. The Strumica mayor confirms he used those words, but explains that he is trying to say that the government, not the opposition, will fire shots. After Monday's events in and outside the parliament, I really expect them to shot at us. That was what I was trying to say, Zaev explains, adding that he will press criminal charges of unauthorized recording against Netpress. Attack over pensioner during protests condemned. Pensioners from the municipality of Centar are appalled by the attack of the opposition activities over a pensioner who was accidentally present at the scene of protests. They are particularly disappointed with the behavior of NSDP member of parliament Tito Petkovsky, who instead of helping the man, turned his back at him and walked away. According to them, not allowing a simple question only proves that some politicians do not comprehend meaning of democracy, Pavle Spasov of the Association of Pensioners said. The Front for Macedonia, which was formed against Sadasama and its attempts to block the budget adoption, also condemned the attack, saying that anyone that tried to fight the people will face the people. Parliament Speaker Velyanovsky voices regret over incident involving journalists. Parliament Speaker Trajko Velyanovsky has voiced his regret over the incident involving the journalists. I will ask the relevant institutions to launch a procedure to determine who is responsible for the event and I would also like to appeal that I will continue to pledge for maximum openness and transparency of Parliament. At the same time, I expect us to continue the highly developed relations with the journalists and media while appreciating their professional conduct and certainly their professional role in society, Velyanovsky said in a statement. The Parliament Speaker also gave his account of what happened in Parliament. The members of the Parliament Security plan and take the necessary measures. Let me remind that the journalists were initially present at the gallery of a plenary hall, and there were no bans. After the first incident took place, when I, as Parliament Speaker, was attacked, when the technical equipment was also destroyed, and the security had to evacuate me from the plenary hall, the relevant Parliament security, considering that the gallery is basically a part of the plenary hall, assessed that the gallery had to be empty, so that no major incident take place. The statement reads. Zanama asks Interior Ministry to solve forcible removal of journalists' case. The Association of Journalists of Macedonia, Zanama, has filed a complaint with the Interior Ministry, demanding that the person who ordered the use of force against journalists who were forcibly removed from the Parliament's gallery be identified. Zanama, which said the journalists were removed despite the fact that there were no grounds for such action, insists that a procedure be opened in order to punish the person responsible for the act. We demand that a similar procedure be opened against the security members involved in the use of violence against journalists. We believe that the majority of police officers at the Interior Ministry are professionals who will recognize this unprofessional conduct of their colleagues, Zanama President Nasser Salmani stressed. Member of Parliament Popovska on events in Parliament. Parliament. Member of Parliament Liliana Popovska voiced her regret over the unpleasant events in the Parliament and called for reasonable actions, responsibility and respecting of the institutions in the interests of all the citizens of the Republic of Macedonia. 
I was deeply shaken by those events due to the measures of force taken against journalists and members of parliaments, the attack on the of the parliamentary speaker, as well as the intentions of this type the organizers of the protests have, she said. According to her, the use of force at the session was in compliance with an article of the rules of procedure. However, what happened to us was frightening, and the services were not in an easy situation because they were asked to establish order for a session to be held, while at the same time facing a living shield starting provocations on purpose in order to cause violence, she said. According to her, the opposition member of parliament did not take the notification cards. Sadasama on parliament incidents in the name of our country's future, we will continue our political struggle to bring back legal safety and rule of law, Sadasama Vice President Anna Pavlovska Daneva said. Our legal team is carrying out a serious analysis, reviewing all circumstances to determine the facts and uses that as a basis to prepare all legal acts and criminal charges will be, which will be filed, she said, added. According to her, there are there are founded suspicions that certain actions taken by Parliament Speaker Velyanovsky were in violation of the Constitution, law on Parliament and rules of procedure. Starting from the way in which the adoption of 2013 budget took place to the responsibility for the violence the police committed against us two days ago in the legislative body, the responsibility falls to Trajko Velyanovsky and Gordana Jankulovska as the persons directly competent over launching a party police putsch. No technical announcement, citing of legal provisions and daily political statements can cover the picture the entire domestic and international public had a chance to see, the Sadasama member stressed. The opposition party will also demand that someone be held responsible for the forcible removal of journalists, camera operators and photo reporters by the parliament security. Ministry of Interior reports on actions after Monday and Tuesday incidents. The Ministry of Interior pressed criminal charges against three participants in the Monday incidents outside the Parliament. Two of them tried to force their way through the police cordon, separating the, the opposing groups and were part of the group that tried to enter the Parliament. They are charged with disturbing the public peace and order and might have to pay a 600 to 800 euros fine in line with the provisions of the law on misdemeanors. The third person is charged with insulting a police officer for which he might pay a fine of 600 to 900 euros. Ministry of Interior informed Wednesday that 11 members of the police forces were hurt when the group of angry citizens demolished the security fences and started pu pushing the police officers. The police are trying to reveal the identity of the person who attacked an elderly citizen during Sudasama's blockade near the record bus stop on Tuesday. Second day of protests at city centers. Citizens expressed their revolt against the latest events in the parliament by blocking the main crossroad for half an hour in the municipality of Centar in Skopje in front of a record bus stop. The citizens are revolted because the democracy in the country has been suspended and demand its re-establishment. They said that Sudasama are the only democratic representatives in the country and will support them until the incumbent government is unseated. Sadasama member Miroslav Grchev said that this government cannot be defeated through normal parliamentary and civil means because of their violent and despotic way of leading the country. The parliament is not cleaned from the opposition. The parliament abolished itself, so there is no parliament, added Grchev. Protests were also held in Strumica, Gostivar and Negotino. Finance Minister Zoran Stavrevsky on economic development. The Minister of Finance Zoran Stavrevsky has stated that recently the procedures for obtaining construction permits has been shortened and simplified to the benefit of the investors. He pointed to the Doing Business report where Macedonia is enlisted as the most reformed and advanced country with the best result from the countries in Southeast Europe. 
Stavrovsky added that compared to procedures in the past, today it is much simpler, which reduces the costs. These conditions have positively affected the bold investment steps of Adora Engineering. They bought five locations of state construction land, and in June this year they started constructing five new elite housing business facilities. In time of crisis, Adora has invested the most. Stavrovsky emphasized and pointed that the crisis was not an issue for crediting solid projects of Adora by domestic or foreign banks. Agricultural Minister Dimovsky on subsidies payment Lyubcho Dimovsky, Minister of Agriculture, stated that the payment of subsidies is underway and no problems obstruct this process. According to Dimovsky, since 2011 the term unsettled subsidies has ceased to exist. Instead, the term uncleared subsidies is used, which points to the unsettled lease fee of farmers using state construction land. Currently, the contracts between the Ministry of Agriculture and users of state agricultural land are being signed. Thus, the obligation for their payment is being prolonged till 31st of June 2013. At the same time, the amendments to the law on agricultural land on related cases foresees simultaneous payment of the subsidy value for 2011 and 2012 regarding the remaining sum of the liability, Dimovsky added. According to him, such cases are rare. I can't state the exact amount, but certainly it won't cost as much as speculations might spread, Dimovsky concluded. Introduction of electronic issuance of transporters' license. Transporters will be able to get their licenses electronically as of January the 1st. This opportunity has been provided with the Memorandum of Cooperation which was signed by the Ministry of Transport and Communications and the Central Registry. Namely, a new electronic system is being introduced through which necessary documents will be processed to the aforementioned Ministry. So far, transporters picked up three these documents on their own at the Central Registry. As of January the 1st, the Ministry of Transport and Communications will be electronically receiving information on the current conditions and shortened financial reports from the Central Registry, which transporters could so far get only in the premises of the Central Registry, stated Mileja Nakieski, Minister of Transport and Communications. Macedonia in English. Just about everything you want to know.